Welcome people of the World Wide Web. So it's Cypher Sigma Toys here and it's Friday, so it's a little collection video. So we're into, I believe, episode four. So this will be on the Street Sharks. So anybody who does or doesn't know, this was a 90s TV series based off the kind of theme or idea of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This was taking a set of animals, turning into a set of heroes, a set of brothers. Um, and at this time, instead of turtles, they went with sharks. So you had four brothers, uh, their dad went missing, he was kidnapped by an evil scientist who liked to splice stuff or people with creatures and obviously as he does it, the, he does the boys with sharks, they become the street sharks and him and his goons are all sliced by different creatures from their side and they kind of have their witty adventures. Um, so we're going to go over the all the figures I have, most of them aren't complete, um, you will find that street sharks can be highly sought after. I've liked most 80s and 90s toys, um, later lines are obviously quite expensive, it can be. Um, but yeah, let's get into it and the round table. So here we go into the Street Sharks. So I have one at least of each of the brothers. So we'll start off with Ripster. So Ripster is kind of the main um, leader of the team. As you'll see, these are made of rubber. And as you'll find on most of these, you'll see that there are paint uh paint kind of coming loose they are a very kind of rubbery plastic and it may i don't know if it's down to the method or something um several of these would have like an action so if you see he can do his monster but they're ripster so let's put him on there we can see a 360 of him um so this is pool shark ripster i think it is and obviously i found this for 20p um at a car boot sale. Um, he's missing his pull cue, and his pull cue makes him really expensive. Um, I say it's about 10 20 quid per street shark figure that you will normally come across. So, after him, we have the brother Jabs. So, he is a hammerhead shark, and as you will see, like he can move his mouth. Um, mine, obviously, with the rubber and that, has this weird effect over it. I've tried to clean it multiple times, but it's like something has got on it. Um, I don't know if it's mold or anything. Um, this isn't the normal standard jabs. Jabs is kind of a brown colour. Um, this is kind of a variant version of him. But I, I, I say, again, it only cost me, I think, about 10 quid. So I'm not going to kind of argue at that sort of price for Street Sharks. So, yep, so that is the second brother, Jabs. So the third brother we have is the big guy, the muscle of the team is Big Slamu, and this is Boxing Big Slamu. He does should have a mouth guard with him, but he doesn't. Um, I don't think he has any action. Oh, he's got a bit of... Apologies, there's a bit of foam there, and obviously he's kind of the big boxing gloves. He, he's obviously the biggest guy, as you'll see there. Quite a, not the biggest street shark, because there is a bad, evil bad guy, um, kind of robot version that's far bigger. But that is a 360. I mean, that one's is quite good, hardly any paint where there's a few bits on his chest and that. Uh, let me go to, I believe this is the original big Slamu guy. As you see, he's a bit like Lee's is a big hefty figure. Obviously, you can see a lot of paint wear on his mouth and stuff. Unfortunately, again, this is what happens. His, his, his arms are massive, you know, compared to those little tiny legs. But um, hopefully that will mean he will stand a little bit better. But there he is doing a quick 360. Obviously, you see like the nice little veins. They were sculpted and, and done really, really well. And all the little bits. Um, his face is a little bit off. I don't know. It's just how uh, you know, it does look. If you look at him, he, he kind of face looks a little bit distorted. But maybe that's just how he's meant to look. Because obviously he is a shark. Um and that then we have the final brother we have streaks so i think this is eex not as you know so obviously he has a big drawn up there um and obviously he his fingers have this little rod so he can pop in and out obviously for animation purposes in the early 80s and 90s always used to do three fingers because it makes it a bit easier like mickey mouse has so there he is so streaks i think he was initially called skates which is obviously why he has the skates but um no, he is kind of the party boy. I imagine he's kind of like the Mike and Angelo of the character, of the characters, I should say, or the brothers. So yeah, that is the four brothers. So they had a um, other people that used to help him out. So first you had their human kind of mechanic. So this is Ben's. 
so he used to kind of create the vehicles and that, that they used to drive very kind of a hipster um obviously with his little walkman on you can see there and a the little headset um again i think i bought this offline for like six pound or something so it was quite a nice addition to it i'd been after that for a while um then we bought at the nec last year so this is rocks so this is kind of um characters that got changed later on so he's a rock and roll musician um the hair is normally cut as you find in most dolls and toys and that um mine's still perfect condition obviously a lot of paint wear there missing his guitar and stuff um so i would like to get that at some point um but i mean this was like i think 15 pound for this figure 12 15 pounds or you know you get a complete one it's like 40 so as i'm not too fussed on all the figure all the um accessories so we have another guy moby lick one of the popular ones and obviously he has the little bendy thing um should have a little hard hat there because I believe he's a construction worker, but that is missing again with these little bits. You do find it so there he is, quite a big guy. After obviously a construction worker merged with a killer whale, um, and obviously because of his feature of his tongue, that's why he's called Moby Lick. Um, so a few discolorations and scratches on him, but again, not too bad as the brother goes. And then the final good guy we have. Manta Ray. I really like the design of this character. He has, again, the rubbers had some funny adverse effect on this kind of there, but he's a stingray, um, or kind of alien type stingray. I don't remember the figure from it. You can kind of see it there, the effect. But I, I kind of like the overall design of stuff like this. Um, I like the little fins at the back of his feet. I think they're really cool. And obviously, you can see the little holes there where he's very bendable so you can move his arms a little bit not that i really do because they flake off so the final good guy we have so as i said there are some figures later in the line that were a bit more costly so here we have space jabs so the very last sort of figures that they did was a set of four figures and they're all space themed um you'll see like he has kind of a turny bit there for this mouth and he should have had a like kind of cage that goes over his mouth and i didn't pick this one up i did see this version complete at a at the nec a few years ago and i, I missed it was on the top shelf and i completely overlooked it and when i realized when looking for footage and went back he obviously was gone so i don't know how much as you can see obviously the white color has got some discoloration where it has been in the sun a little bit but not too much and i say they're very hard i think this cost me about 20 quid so again not not going to quibble at that much. So that is all the good guys I have. We have the bad guys. So the first one is this guy called Kilimari. Um, I believe he can suck water up and squirt it out. And obviously he has his four hands. Now he should have four legs. But as you can see, uh, mine doesn't. He is damaged. So that's how he sits. This was um, when I went to the NEC, like some of the others, someone was selling, I think, about eight. Of these and some extreme dinosaurs for 50 quid so that is where i picked a lot of this stuff up and obviously he was unfortunately damaged so i'll have to keep an eye out for him so sorry i can't do a surround one i don't and there you go and then he can beat his chest so that is killer mari uh, then we have a brilliant facebook find so this is reptile so obviously he is a character that is mixed with an eel um, he has several features on him, which is quite good. And this is a complete one. I got. I think it's about 30 quid. So you see he has kind of the um, alien mouthpiece. If you press this gill section here, this fires out. And then you'll see he has rods on both his arms for little eels that are sitting in his hand that he fires across. Again, quite awkward to lose. Um I say this is probably the most expensive I've paid for a Street Shark villain, but I think he's really cool. I never really seen him complete. Uh, then we have the final character. So the main bad guy is Dr. Paradigm, or as he is known, Dr. Piranha, which, as you can probably gauge, he has that name for a reason. That's because he, unfortunately, gets merged with Piranha a DNA. So the reason he had... You know, and this will be quite relevant. I cleaned the mask up a bit again. These are like toys when they've sealed. Sometimes it can discolor, but you can see that's his piranha -y type face and that's his normal face. And I'm glad that feature works. Um, obviously, he's missing the cannon bit there. 
Uh, but I think he has a backpack that he's missing as well. But again, this was, and there's scuffs and stuff. Again, this cost me like 20 quid. So I think this is one of the harder guys to find him complete. It's like 60 quid plus. So I am not too bad. I, you know, I don't mind having him. And then I have an alternate version of him. So there's this one. He is missing his arm cannon again. Um, has the face plate there that opens up so we can see his face which is quite a nice face sculpt for a 90s toy. Um, unfortunately, the hoses should be stuck there, but they have broken off. But I do like the overall look of this figure, um, mostly complete. And then we put him on here and we see a roundup. And there we go. That is my Street Sharks collection. Do you collect Street Sharks? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I've been Cypher Sigma Toys. Hope you enjoyed this video um, collection of the, of the Street Sharks I own. Um, and I shall see you in the next one.